Hello, in some video I'll show you how to display a lid on JSP page mm, using Squiblet, but it's not the best way to do that. Today I'll show you another way to do that by using JSTL. JSTL stands for Java Standard Web Library. Just go ahead and get the latest one. Okay, clean and view to get the dependencies. As you see here, we use scriptlet and then you know that the Java code is mixed with the HTML code. So it's look a bit messy and then you always easy to forget this kind of stuff. Let's say I remove this one and you still don't see any error here. So that always the problem. So now with the JSDL, we can improve that one. Let me import that one. Control mm -hmm. space to get some suggestion. You need a prefix or you can call it from the top, just like JSP code. And then you need URI. And then you only control space and you choose the call tag. Or I set the prefix with C letter. This one, luckily, we don't need to remember. So I just go ahead and replay. Okay, I just put the code here for you to compare. For each. And then the list of different items. And then you can use expression language to get the variable from the scope. Here we get the list. List actually is here and you get the variable name list. It's not this one. This doesn't work with this code. And you need variable. I just name it you. And now I can remove this one. And I cut the code from here to here. This one te I temporarily remove it. And this one I will change user name. should write the property here. This one actually is what you define in a transfer object. Let me show you. This one you need to enter exactly like what you define here. Okay, I will remove this one. And with this one, how you can index, you need to use an editor, C set, and you need a variable, and you name it i, and it should start with number one. And you can just go ahead, write down, and for each loop, you need to increase that one, and just copy over. And then this one, you just increase one value, and then now you can remove this one. Okay, you see that the code now is much, much more nicer. And it look like a JSP code. You don't see any Java code here. All the tag and then expression language is much more easier to see the code modify. So you can prevent some potential bug. Okay, uh, let me run the application. Now you we you will see exactly what the previous result, right? Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.